The Free Gorges Dam collapse. Why is it being considered? Let's look into it right now. Now, a little bit later than the usual show, and the Free Gorges Dam collapse. Why is it being considered? Well, let me check the microphone and then we'll get back to you. It is Thursday, the 10th of March 2022. Let's get into this. Now, dams, most of the dams in China were built in this era, the Mao Zedong era. And the Free Gorges Dam is more of a recent started to be built in 1994 and the completion in round about 2006. The idea was to tame the Yangtze River, the third longest river in the world, to generate electricity and to stop flood control. Now, 50%, 50% of the agriculture in China is in central China and the irrigation from the Yangtze does, sorry, the irrigation from all this farmland does come from the Yangtze River. So that's how vitally important it is. It does flow through Chongqing, it does flow through Wuhan and ends up near enough just outside Shanghai. You can see from the map basically where Hubei is and you can see the direction of the actual flow of the three gorges starting in Tibet up in the very high reaches of Tibet all the way 3,000 I think miles towards the China Sea or South China Sea, Yellow Sea, the Sea of Taiwan whatever you want to call it it does have 34 turbines or turbo generators and this is one of the questions, can the flow of the water keep these turbines working? These, the electricity that comes from the Three Gorges doesn't go to central China. It actually goes to the east coast of China. It goes to Shanghai. It goes to Shenzhen. It goes to Guangdong in Guan, uh, or Guangzhou in Guangdong province. You could say very close to Hong Kong. The it does in 2020 in November, I think they quoted it produced 22.5 gigawatts of electricity, which is a staggering amount. But if it did overflow, they would have to automatically rescue 1.3 billion, sorry, million people to higher ground. 40% of the generated electricity will actually go to the other parts of China. So is it going to help Wuhan? No. Is it going to help Chongqing? No. Is it going to help Chengdu? No. It goes to the tier one cities. So benefits for the East Coast. But at the moment, because of the problems of inflow and outflow, it's producing around about 10, maybe to 10 to 25 percent. We really don't know the actual numbers. And again, going into central China. The question, is the Free Gorges Dam in danger of collapse? Let's look at it at this point of view. 84 million litres of water per second, 80 million litres of water per second is the maximum it can cope with. If it goes over that, then there's going to be an overflow. Even if the sluice gates are open, they cannot control it. It will collapse and then that will be the China Chernobyl, so to speak. In the summer of 2020, 61 million litres per second of water were recorded and the Chinese government said it handled it perfectly. But that's just a stone's throw away to what the 84 million litres. This is litres, it's not gallons. So it's quite worrying. China did a risky technological venture with this one. We found out in 2020 it has a weak capacity of controlling floods. And we still don't know how well it can deal with a natural disaster. There have been earthquakes nearby, but not earthquakes on this earthquake-prone zone. 
Hence, a risky technological venture that cost well over 30 billion American dollars. The shoddy construction we have seen, you can see cracks already forming in this dam which is not so old. The list goes on and on with all of this situation. There basically is a summary of the title and why I keep doing videos near enough every single day related to the dam because we got to keep on top of the situation. Quoted, it could be China's Chernobyl and that's a black swan for you. Quote from some of my videos in the past. Right, let's have a look at the levels for you for today. Uh, Chongqing, it is 167.58, it's gone down. The free calls is weather wire. In a 24 hour period, it stays the same and it's 166.96. Inflow is near enough the same and the outflow, I think, has gone down a little bit. And time for a little bit of the weather. Let's see what the weather is in central China over the next two or three days. It goes like this. Now, I am recording this round about four o'clock in the afternoon and a little bit later, <laughs> or when this video is released, a little bit earlier, I have made a video called Going Live with James, Taiwan, China and a special guest. I have invited this person onto the show and it's sort of unscripted. Uh, there is a basic concept of what's happening in the world, different points of view, but from two um, British people are not different points of view, similar. And you could say both are truth tellers with facts and information. And you can say eyewitness reports that we can see rather than the actual evidence, which always seems to be hidden. And please do, if you haven't or you didn't watch it, then just go to my channel and you can find it by typing in going live with James, etc, etc, etc. That brings us to a close for this edition of the Free Gorges Dam channel or the James Neil Cooper channel. A like, subscribe and a share is absolutely idyllic. There's a good word for you. And we'll be back sometime soon. I'm not too sure. I actually have a really busy week because I'm doing sort of my yearly visa kind of thing here, which consumes quite a lot of time. Be well, be safe. Happy day. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye. Beep, beep.